Are there some teachers still in the house? Yeah. All right. <laughs> Good afternoon, fellow Democrats. I am Glenda Ritz, and I am proud to accept the nomination as Superintendent of Public Instruction. I want to thank my husband, Gary, for his support in this important campaign that lies ahead. And I want to thank Justin Oakley, a fellow teacher who raised the hopes of Democrats that Tony Bennett could be beaten and who is now supporting me to make that come true. <laughs> fellow Democrats, we must do better for our children. We must make Indiana an example of how students, parents, teachers, administrators, and yes, taxpayers can work together to prepare our children for the global economy. I was born and raised in Indiana. I've been a teacher for 33 years, and as Terry said, I was teacher of the year at two different schools. I've been a Golden Apple Award winner, and I am one of 155 national certified teachers in Indiana. I have two master's degrees in education, and I'm licensed to teach elementary, middle, and high school students in the areas of general education, special education, and library science. I have worked with my colleagues to develop strong reading programs at my school, which led our school to be nationally recognized as a blue ribbon school and a four-star Indiana school. Tony Bennett, as we move forward in this campaign, I want you to know that you're running against a successful teacher who is ready to change the teach to the test philosophy. I know firsthand that our students deserve ample opportunities to explore, discuss, and discover the true joy of learning. When they go out there into the world, whether it's to technical schools or universities or directly to the workplace, they need to know how to think in ways that support them in the changing world around them. You have been superintendent against public education, Tony Bennett. I'm going to be the superintendent of public education. As previous speakers have mentioned, Tony Bennett, it is time to stop deprofessionalizing, disrespecting, and discrediting teachers. It's time to stop the attacking of teachers and students with your punitive approaches to learning and instruction. Fellow Democrats, it's time that Tony Bennett be graded on his policies that he has implemented. When Tony Bennett stood by while the legislature cut $300 million from our education budget, I say he earned a failing grade. Do you agree with me? <laughs> when Tony Bennett took public dollars to fund private schools, I say he earned a failing grade. Do you agree with me? When Tony Bennett decided that high stakes testing for students was more important than the quality of learning and teaching in our classrooms, I say he earned a failing grade. Do you agree with me? So my friends, he has failed the test on protecting funding for education, and he's failed the test on getting our students ready for our global economy. Our students, our educators, our parents, our communities cannot afford to have another four years of Tony Bennett's failing policies. Tony Bennett, it is time for you to leave. I'm Glenda Ritz, and I'm standing up for education. If you believe in better education for who's your children, stand with me. I want to close with two simple questions. Will you help me make sure that Tony Bennett fails the test to continue as our next superintendent? Yeah. Will you help me pass the test and become our next superintendent of public instruction? Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Put on the Ritz. Put on the Ritz.